Hello everyone and welcome back to the Python Django series using MySQL part 3 and we are doing CRUD operations that means we are performing create, read, update and delete operations in MySQL using Python Django website. So let's say what we have already done till now so if you'll see we have already, uh, if you go to my channel, this is uh, Tech Learners by Deerat Saxena. So if you will go down into the playlist, then you can see this is Python Django tutorial. And inside the playlist, you can see we have already created a video on how to create a Python Django website using PyCharm. And we had started with the MySQL CRUD operations using Python Django. We have created the first video on create and insert operation. We have already done this. If you want to see, you can watch this video on the channel. Then the second video was based on the read operation from the CRUD. That means we fetched data from the database and displayed it onto the website. And we have, we have also have the other uh, videos. You can go and watch uh, like the installation of Python, installation of PyCharm, Django installation, MySQL installation and few other videos as well. So we will continue with this and today we will talk about the third major operation that is delete operation. So let's uh, go to the Visual Studio and uh, see uh, what we have till now. So we had already created uh, this specific project uh, just I have seen in the first video. Now let's just run this. Uh, so we'll go to the view and we'll go to the terminal and then we'll enter into the uh, my Django site uh, directory and from here uh, we'll run the server. So for running the server we'll type python manage.py and space run server. So uh, this is how we will be able to run server. Okay, so uh, I need to type it in small letters. So this is python manage.py run server. Okay, so now you can see that uh, the server is on. So we'll open this server. We'll just uh, click on this and it will open. So you can see we had created this website uh, on which we had created two uh, web pages. One for the registration. This is the registration form through which we are inserting the data into the MySQL database and uh, we are also having the second page this is view user which we had created in the previous video where we are fetching the stored data inside the MySQL and displaying it onto the website. So let's go to the MySQL as well and inside the MySQL if I show you we have already created the database. So databases if i'll see this is my django db that is uh, we have created uh, it's associated with uh, our uh, website so i'll just get into my django db and then let me show you the tables that i have in this created through the my django website so we had created this user table through the front end uh, in the first part and let me show you the data what we have into the uh, user table. Select aspect from user. So you can see uh, this data from the MySQL backend database. We are fetching it onto the website. Okay, and we had stored this data using this registration page. Now today what we'll be doing is we'll be deleting some of the data from here from the website that we had just added this labels now we'll convert these labels into the action buttons and then just by clicking this delete button here we should be able to delete this record into the from the mysql database so we'll click here on the website and the data will be deleted inside this mysql database that's the delete operation so let's go and watch what are the steps for doing this so this is the uh, next operation delete operation uh, let's go very quickly. What are the prerequisites for this? We should have a running Django pre project which we have already created. I have this video uh, how to create Python Django website. So you can create this. You can create a running project. 
then we have a uh, mysql uh, server installation i also have a video you can go and watch use then mysql database creation we have already done this uh, database configuration we have already done this create and insert uh, we have already done this for all this i have this uh, video uh, the crud example part one create and insert in mysql database you can watch this then we should be able to view data from the database so i have already created uh, this video crud part two that is fetching data from mysql database so once you are all done with this then uh, we can go ahead with uh, the deletion part of the data so let us see what is the first step uh, for the deletion of the data in step number one we need to create a reference in view users for deleting data to mysql so we need to delete the data to mysql so we need to create this reference so let me go back to the view users file so here you can see this is the view users file which we had created uh, in the last and here in the last section we had just added this uh, td we had just added these labels now we need to replace this labels with the hyper reference or uh, into the clickable action so for that we'll just copy this uh, td we have just replaced that label with the hyper reference so we'll just create the hyper reference so let me replace this so that we will be able to click on this so we have just uh, created this hyper reference you can see where we are passing some url we, we have not yet created this url we'll create this uh, url in future and remember here it should be this us which 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 is our object which we had used into the previous and then here we will be using the column name that is uid so we need to make change here because uh, we are using the us object so this is us and then one of the column names into the table so you can see this is the first us.uid because we will be uh, applying the conditions on the uid so let's say if we have uh, this uh, uid uh, one so we want to delete this record so we'll pass uid one and this whole record will be deleted if we'll pass uid two then all these three records will be deleted because we have uid for all these three so this is the selective condition because we want to delete selective records not all records in that sense we need to pass this parameter so this is the step number one uh, let's see what happened after this is step number one to our uh, website so we'll go to the website and we'll just click on view users and you can see this is delete hyperlink is created so we'll just click and we'll perform the deletion operation let's see what is the next step uh, in the next step we need to create a view in views.py to delete the data to the database so we'll copy this view from here and we'll go to the views.py so we can see here views.py uh, we have already created view users insert users in the previous videos in the similar i'll just add this delete profile function which will be deleting our record with some parameter here you can say with the request object we had added one parameter id because we want to pass this parameter and now another difference uh, in the previous view users when we want to fetch all the records we have used objects dot all method but now we want to get selected records that are to be deleted we'll use objects dot get method and inside the get method we'll pass the parameter setting as the condition so this is the parameter id from here to here and we are setting this id to the uid so this uid should match the column name here into the table so this is uid okay so this uid should match uh, this id should match here and this uid should match to the database and this user we already know that this is the name of our table we have already import imported this uh, from the models and lastly uh, we will be storing all that uh, all everything into the us object and then we'll perform the deletion using the delete function so we simply need to write us dot delete so all the records which are fetched from this uh, while matching the condition of the id uh, these will be deleted once all these records will be deleted we want to redirect to the view users template so that we can view the updated 
data okay so let's see what's the next step uh, in the next step we need to okay one more thing if you have used this redirect so maybe this is the redirect uh, method here so we need to import this redirect method so we will import this redirect method here from the django dot shortcuts we have already import render we just need to have a comma and redirect here so we need to import this redirect here if you get uh, the error then we will import and once it is imported so you will not see any error here so you need to after importing this let's see what's the next step step number three we need to create a url pattern in urls.py for above created view so this is the url pattern for every view uh, you remember for every view we need to create a url so that we can access that view so we'll go to the urls.py you can see we have already created these uh, paths for each view we have created into the views.py now let me uh, create the url for this delete profile view this is a bit different from the other paths uh, because in view users we were not passing any parameter but in delete profile we are passing a parameter of integer type that's why uh, it's delete profile slash and then i have used int and this is id the variable that we are passing rest is same this is delete profile and we are giving it name as a delete profile let's see what's the next step so we have done with the, all these steps now we just need to run the server and delete data and check whether the data is deleted or not so let's go to the uh, terminal so we'll go to the terminal and it's, it's already running so we'll we'll just go to the website it's already run so once we'll click on this uh, delete button let's see whether the data will be deleted or not so i'm clicking it on it okay you can see so we have clicked on delete the data is deleted with uh, user id 1 and we are back to the view users template let's check this into the mysql whether the data is deleted or not so let's select asterisk from user and you can see the data is deleted so we are using the get method to delete a single record but one more correction if you want to delete multiple records then this get method will not help you out let me show you uh, just to delete multiple records if we will be using this get so what will happen uh, you will get the error like it returned three records because for all those three the user id was same this is two in that sense if you want to delete multiple records at one go then we have to make one change that we will be using uh, instead of this get method into the delete profile function we will be using filter method so we'll apply this filter method let me save it and uh, go back to the this web page let me refresh it once okay now let me try to delete these multiple records uh, all records with user id 2 so let me click on delete here if i delete this then we can see multiple records have been deleted so now we'll see that uh, this is empty right so we have deleted all the records now let's go and add one record here in this so we'll go back and user registration we'll use a, a one and then we'll use name tech learners uh, this is the gmail and this is the uh, mobile number so i'll click on register so you can see it's registered now we'll go to the view users and you can see we have back our data and if you want to delete now we can simply click on delete that will also delete the record let me add one more record into this so we'll go back to the user register let me have uh, this two name as uh, let's say test and then email as test at the rate gmail then contact something like this so and click on register so it will be registered we'll go to the view users you can see we have this data and if you want to delete this second record then again we can simply click on uh, this delete button with the user id 2 we'll click on delete and you can say it's deleted so till now what we have seen that how to store data into the database how to retrieve data from the database and how to delete records inside the database whether it is a single record or it is multiple records in the next lecture we learn how to update the data using the website